Hey, how's it going? Thanks for joining me again, Demon Driver, aka Christopher here. You know, I've been asked a million times over the last five years since I've created this channel, you know, Chris, what kind of uh, paints do you use and are there any foam safe paints that I can use on Depron, um, EP foam, and different types of styrofoam that I can use that won't hurt the foam? And my answer is yes. It's a very limited, very narrow um, field of paints that won't hurt foam and they're normally not out of an aerosol can. So let's take a look at those foams right now. Let me show you how to apply them and um, the do's and don'ts and what you're going to have to do to protect your foam if you're using regular aerosol paint. So let's do that right now. Thank you for joining me. Let's get to it. Okay, come on. We have a bunch of paints right in front of us here and let me go through all of them very quickly and then let me show you what is what and what does what to foam. We've got regular, we've got uh, dense um, foam right here. This is kind of insulation foam, blue foam. And then we have uh, white EP styrofoam right here and then we have Depron. Okay, wonderful two millimeter Depron. Actually this is a wing surface to one of my mini uh, Embraer 145s, Brazilian uh, regional jet. So let's get straight to it. This is Valspar um, black primer paint. Okay, I hope everything is in view here. And this is Rust-Oleum appliance epoxy paint. This is really high gloss. Now I'm going to paint straight onto this EP styrofoam, all right? And paint straight onto it with regular aerosol paint. Let's watch what happens. Okay, you wanna know what's happening? Look what's happening. Look what happens when you use regular aerosol can paint on bare foam. It eats it like acid. Do you see that? It eats it. It destroys it. Okay? Now, the only way you can prevent that is to use shellac. You spray the foam with shellac. You spray the foam with shellac then you can, once it dries, then you can use the regular aerosol paint on the foam. It won't destroy the foam. Another product that you can use to protect your foam is called polycrylic by Minwax. This is a water-based, water-soluble uh, material. You know, you pop it open, get it open, pop it open, a screwdriver, something like that, and it is like a milky, it looks like soy milk, and you take it, you brush it on, let it dry, then you can paint over it. Now, let me show you something that is absolutely important and something that you need to use and need to figure out and learn about and it's a great product and let me show you this this is called Dav dazzling metal we have um, Americana and then we have Delta these are water-based water soluble um, acrylic like paints that are all foam safe Okay, do you hear what I said? These are all foam safe. You don't need a shellac. You don't need polycrylic. You can open these up and use them. Okay, we got a Depron wing right here. Bare Depron. Now, I'm going to take this 
foam safe tube paint, right? And I'm just gonna, I have a plastic uh, cap from a, from a uh, container. This is a great cheap way. And what I do is I mix this up real good, mix this up, and I squeeze a little bit out into, and this is silver. This is silver metallic. All right, now here's a trick I'm gonna teach you. I stole some of my girlfriend's makeup brushes, and these are freaking great if you don't want to have streaks. Now, this is not an aerosol, so you're going to have streaks, but if you use a makeup brush, it'll really help get rid of the streaks. So here is the, here is the bare Depron wing, and I'm going to paint straight onto it. And see, because it's a makeup brush, you really don't notice the streaks as much. And if you're real careful and you get the knack, you won't have any streaks. Look at that, isn't that nice? And this is foam safe paint, folks. This is foam safe paint and it is not hurting the paint at all. It's not hurting the foam of this Depron wing whatsoever. It is not hurting the foam. Now what you're looking at here is the interior uh, flight deck of a customer's project that I'm doing. This is a flight deck of a 767-300 freighter. And uh, this is all hand painted with acrylic paint on bare foam. Depron and um, EP foam. There's the toilet right there. Hey, you gotta add the details. Free jump seats. But this is all this is all just you know painted with uh, with this type of acrylic. This is all just hand painted straight on, and it doesn't hurt the foam. Well, a good example of the use of these acrylic um, foam safe paints is this uh, flight deck of a seven six seven three hundred F freighter of uh, ABX Air. This is all handmade scratch built and this entire interior is all um, hand painted. Hand painted and uh, handmade. The jump seats in the back the interior uh, paneling, the instrument panel. I don't know if you can see the instrument panel, but um, that's actually a decal that I printed out. The center console with the luggage handles, uh, throttle throttle handles. There's the um, engineer's instrument panel behind uh, first officer there. Is the ABX Loadmaster, and there is Lenny, the Wonder Chicken, right there. You see him sitting in the jump seat. That is the official ABX Chicken mascot, right there. But uh, this is all the example of um, foam safe paint and how it can be used in your RC airplane. And uh, yeah. Look at that, isn't that nice? And the makeup brush, using a makeup brush really helps you get rid of any kind of streaks or anything like that. If you're really, you know, by the second coat you won't see any streaks. Look at that, isn't that nice? No damage to the Depron. And I didn't have to use shellac. I didn't have to spray shellac down. I didn't have to use polyacrylic minwax. I just open up, open up the paint, pour it into the into the cap, into the cap, or I can just go like this, straight from the tube right to the wing, and paint. Look at that! Isn't that nice? Nice silver wing. Nice easy, nice and easy. Look at that! Isn't that nice? If you're really careful. 
You can really not have any streaks. And that's one coat. One coat. Isn't that nice? And the beautiful thing about this paint, the beautiful thing about this tube paint is it's water soluble. I wash off the brush and reuse it. Isn't that nice? Works perfectly. So this stuff is fine. Okay. Aerosol can paint is fine, but there's acids inside of it to keep it from clumping up and allowing it to get out of the nozzle properly. That's why there's acid in there. And what the acid does is, is it destroys foam. If you spray straight onto a surface without a shellac or a minwax or tape or something, but if you use these kind of paints, you can paint straight from the tube right to the foam and not have to worry about it. Well, hey, thank you for watching, and I hope that uh, this video helps answer some of the questions about foam safe paint and aerosol cans and regular aerosol paint, what it can do to foam if you don't protect it. But if you use acrylic um, tube paint straight from the tube, it's foam safe. It goes straight onto the wing and it won't hurt your Depron at all. So thank you for watching again. Take care. God bless. And it's starting to get nice out, so get flying. Get building and then get flying. Thank you, this is Demon Driver. Take care. Bye-bye.